you seen the bottle opener? You know, I used to have a cousin who could open a bottle of beer with her teeth. That's pretty much all she could do. I mean, that's as good as it got for the girl. She was just a human bottle opener. Then one year, at the fire department's garden party, she knocked her front teeth right out. After that, she was so ashamed. She used to sneak out the back of the house every time company came. She never did get married. She raised horses instead of children. Will you Bella? Yeah, deal. Better yet, have you ever been punched in the face? <laughs> That's romance to me. Bella, do you want a break? What? No, you decide. I can't think right now. Okay. Are you in then? No, not this round. I'm also done with the drinks though, so you guys go ahead and play. You can't take losing to me very well. What do you think? You're out after you lost half your bank to me in one round. JD and club soda. It's like liquid cotton candy for my mouth. Something like that, I'm sure. You do this every time, you know that, right? No. You get hot early on, you do very well, but the further you go along, the riskier you get. You play backwards, logically. You think. I don't have to, because you already know. Oh, look at you being too cool for school. It's got you in such a sassy mood. Maybe it's something you bring out in me. Kat, you were going to tell your story about Josh before we interrupted. Oh, you were going to talk about Josh and his cookies? I was getting there. Jody hasn't heard it yet. Well, let's hear it. Hey. So, we were sitting in his bedroom, and Josh was eating Teddy grams out of a box. And all of a sudden, he started using his penis as a catapult, flicking the tiny teddies into his mouth. At first, I was shocked. But then, after the third or fourth one, my mind began to wander to that repulsive side. And I began to think about what else he had done with his penis. <laughs> and then for no other reason, I began to puke in my mouth. And then, all over his fuzzy pink carpet. Right on the floor between your feet. Oh, gross. The next year, he went to another school. Bella and Dan still talked to him, but he and I never spoke again until our prom. Oh, I forgot about that too. What happened? Somebody puked on him while she was going down on him. Now that's <laughs> sick. Hey, don't touch your hand. Hey, Jody, I didn't get a chance to say I was sorry about your cat passing away. Thanks. How did it pass away? I don't know, maybe July kicked in. Well, it eats everything on the floor too. It's also possible. Pizza pops, hot dogs, he loved compost still. Still sad, I miss him already. Do you think you'll ever get another one? No more cats till some of the boys leave. I'm not feeling well. I don't think liquid cotton candy's for me. Why don't you go down to my room? I think I might. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. So now what? I don't know. Want to see a card trick? Sure. That child is making a whole lot of noise out there. July? Yes, that fool. Well, what are you having as a kid? You know. No, I don't. So why don't you tell me? Well, for starters, he's good for nothing. <laughs> no, he's not. I could argue that. How so? He'll go pick up anything you want him to, anytime. What do you mean? You forget that chest you bought last summer? You know, the big chest who went down to the shore and helped you pick it up? There's sometimes he comes to use. It was like a 40 minute drive each way, what did you guys talk about? Nothing, I turned the radio on and slept the rest of the way. Really? Yeah, that's like amazing to me. This kid's a chatterbox, he never shuts up. He'll talk to anybody, he talks to homeless people, he talks to his grandparents. He calls his grandparents once a week. You know how difficult that is? I don't talk to my grandparents. What are you getting at? Really? I mean, your biggest complaint about this kid is he's a huge chatterbox, and you're telling me for 80 minutes you had nothing with him to talk about. You're in, your, you're in a car alone with a man for 80 minutes you have nothing to say. I complain about him plenty to my girlfriends, I'll let you know. And second, I only berate him in his presence. He's no one I think about when he's not here. So, what are you trying to get at? You want me to tell him to keep it down? Yes. Okay, well, he's pretty hard up, you know. He's talking about getting a woman and all this nonsense. You know why he can never hold on to a woman? He'll never hold on to a woman like he holds on to that money. What's all this talk of women and money? Who's got time for women and money? <laughs> it's a complicated conversation. I'm sure it would bore you. I'm trying to give. So, which one of you boys stole the dope? You never talk about that one, do you? Why would we? Well, so we've got somebody sponsoring this vendor. All I can figure is if somebody won the lottery, everybody would know about it. So, the only logical explanation is that you got a good deal on the dope. I don't know what you're getting at, babe. Well, 
would you do if uh, somebody bought that for? That right there? Yeah. Kill them right there. Oh, love is like fighting piranhas. Honestly, I'd rather be fighting piranhas. <laughs> Why don't you invite that girl over for a real sit-down dinner? What do you think? <laughs> Joey, you cheat kind of like she's a piece of trash. Where is Catherine? She went to go lay down. She wasn't feeling well. Excuse me. We know all about you, Joey. You don't back down. You ain't no holla back girl. Yeah, Bliss, come here. Uh, only has something to show you in the living room. Yeah, okay. Hey, July. Jody. So, when are you gonna get a job? I'm still looking. Since when? Fuck you, Jody. Fuck yourself, kid, living in your own fucking filth. How many times do you need to say fuck? I mean, really, I know it's your hobby, but give the word a rest. Fuck your thoughts. Fuck you. Jimmy has some pretty choice things to say about you two boys. Ah, he's got a lot of choices. Just means we love to live. You live to love? Barf, but charming in the same light. Well, hate the game, don't hate the player. I'm just gonna leave then. Yeah, then what? What? What, you said then. Um, you just wanted to leave. If you had to say then, that leaves a sentence open-ended, they had another sentence to finish off the paragraph. So, then what? Then I'll go home. You know, Jimmy's really polite when he talks about you two. You shouldn't take a friendship like that for granted. See you later. Later. See ya. So maybe Jimmy knows. Sorry, I missed the conversation. What is it you'd like to know? How do you know Floyd Blues? He used to play guitar down at the old Harbor House when it was open. Was he any good? Well, the ladies never complain, if that's what you're asking. But well, I'm not really interested in that. So what are you interested in? It wouldn't make a difference even if you knew. So what are you saying? You can't save me. You know, Bella, you're more fucked up than your old pal Jody, Dem, or Catherine, for that matter. <laughs>